Yeah. Okay, everyone. So um, this is just gonna be a really, really quick video. Uh, for the past ten hours, I went on a coding binge. I taught myself a lot of JavaScript, and I implemented all of those things that people wanted. Um, this is the new Simple Viewer. It has. Uh, let me uh, let me pull up some things and get it started. So I have supplied a JSON file in the description of this video. It's the same thing that WCA competitions use. Uh, you can load it into uh, Simple Viewer, and Simple Viewer is now basically fully complete. It has all the functions. Um, so you'll see here as I glide over the notation, it turns green, and if I click, an image will come up at that sequence. So let's say if I get to F2 and I'm not sure, it'll tell me what it looks like at that state. Um, this is useful for square one, so if you're in square one, even like during the slices and before the movements, it will tell you, and that that's a pretty cool function, in my opinion. So here, you can it'll tell you how far you are, the shape at that state, or here. So some people get confused um, sometimes if they've made a movement or not, or with square one, because you can salvage it with square one. Uh, let's do five by five. Um, even in five by five. Uh, you can see any time during the scramble sequence what the state of the cube is and it's nice and big it's here the uh, cube images are bigger by 30 percent um, the vertical height is what limits it in a lot of the cases um, not so much in 5 by 5 because the text is like this but when you zoom out to get all seven on screen it's a little you can see that it's it's uh, Actually, I could get that bigger. I think the reason I didn't make it bigger is because in square one, uh, the images are vertical. I tried offsetting them, but it looked too sloppy. I'll have to think of better ways to do it. Um, but like I, the thing works for all puzzles, all images, um, even clock. So at any phase during the scramble, it does it. Uh, and another cool thing I did is uh, now mean of three. If you watched my last video, uh, in mean of three, sometimes the let me not seven by seven. Let's do uh, four blind. Uh, sometimes there was an extra four. There were extra rows that were taking up precious screen space. Uh, those disappear now. When you do mean of three events, and when you go back to average of five events, they come back, so you can get all the events. Um, I fixed a lot of the bugs. Uh, Simple viewer is now basically fully functional. Um, and I think that's the best way to learn programming is to just jump right in with a project and just s immerse yourself in what you're going to do. Um, so I just hope that maybe in the future I can continue to use software and programming to make better things for cubing. Um, this, is, this is some amazing stuff guys and I hope that some of you grow up to go into the computer field. Um, and yeah, I'm open to any suggestions for Simple Viewer or any software things in the future. Um, yeah, that should be it. I have to catch up on some uh, other stuff, but this is it for now. Uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. It's like 6:50 a.m. here, which is unbelievably late. And this weekend was ridiculously. I went to an anime convention this weekend, and I did not sleep. And Memorial Day weekend was pretty hectic. Um, so yeah, see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone.